The battle between the Monitor and the Merrimack during the American Civil War was history's first duel between Iron Cloud ships. The battle started March 8th and ended March 9th. It was between the North, also known as the Confederate States and the Union. The ship, the Monitor, belonged to the North. The Monitor was protected with iron armor. It had two cannons. These cannons were on revolving turrets, which allowed them to be aimed directly at any enemy ship. The commander of the North was John L. Warden. The ship, the Merrimack, that was later rebuilt and renamed the Virginia, belonged to the North. The Merrimack was originally one of the largest ships in the Union Navy. It was later captured by the Confederate. Union soldiers set the ship on fire, but the Confederates were able to save the whole of the ships. The Confederate rebuilt the ship with a steam-powered engine and iron armor, after which they renamed the ship the Virginia. The commander of the Union was Franklin Buchanan. On March 6th, the Monitor set out from New York City heading south. The ship encountered multiple problems on their two-day voyage and nearly sank. They finally made it on the afternoon of March 8th. On the morning of March 9th, Borden and his troops set out to attack the Merrimack. For four hours, the two ships battled it out while making their way through the channel of the Hampton Roads. Three hours into the battle, Borden was injured when a Confederate shell exploded just outside the pilot's house. The shell left him partly blind. Borden commanded his first officer, Samuel D. Green, to withdraw from the battle. They later found out that the Mer Mary Mac had also withdrew. The battle ended in a draw. This photo shows two men standing on the deck, observing the light damage caused to the turret of the Monitor during the fight with the Confederate at the Battle of the Hampton Roads. The bigger rectangular shapes are the main ships. The red colored ones are the Confederate and the blue colored ones are the Union. The skinnier, smaller rectangular shapes are the supporting ships. Red for Confederate and blue is the Union. The rectangular shapes with the yellow sparks around them are ships that are under attack. Red for Confederate and blue for Union. The red dotted lines are the routes that the Confederate ships took. The blue dotted lines are the routes that the Union ships took. This is a letter written to Lieutenant Samuel D. Green from G.A. Fox. He is simply telling Green that he sent a new monitor in until the arrival of Commodore Goldsberg. The battle between the Monitor and the Merrimack had little effect on the outcome of the war. The power they displayed at Hampton Roads changed the way chip ships were built. The United States Navy and navies in Europe abandoned the building of wooden ships and began building ironclads, ushering in a new era of iron ships.